Y'all wanna know who my representing it here tonight? Hold on, hold on. Louisiana, murder on the beat, something for y'all to cut up to, you know, yeah, everybody get your roll on, I know shorty and she doesn't want no slow song, had a man last year, life goes on, haven't let the thing lose, girl, it's so long, you been inside, know you like to lay low, I've been people with you bring it to the table, working hard girl, everything paid for, first, last phone, bill, car, no cable, with your phone out, gotta hit them angles, with your phone out, snapping like you Fabo, and you showing no, off, but it's alright, and you showing no, off, but it's alright, it's a short life. Without a follow, without a mention, you really piping up on these. You gotta be nice for what to these. I understand, you got a hundred bands, you got a baby bands, you got some bad friends. High school pics, you was even bad then. You ain't stressing off no lover in the past tense, you already had them. Work at 8 a.m., finish round five. Call down, you don't see them outside. Yeah, they don't really be the same offline. You know, dog days, you know, hard times. Time for the last month, Saturday, call the girls, get them gassed up. Gotta hit the club, gotta make that jump. Gotta hit the club like you hit them, hit them, hit them. He's getting more snacks. Builders protein. <laughs> That's Anthony. I'm just saying. Yeah. Ant. POV. Locked We're locked out. out. Can't watch you soon. Need nothing there. All right. Yeah. I'm Jesus, me, damn, oh my god, okay. <laughs> Stop recording me.
Oh, hello. You're finally awake. Oh, am I? What the heck? Where am I? I'm uh, sorry to inform you of this, but you broke it into the uh, wrong studio. Or maybe the right studio. It doesn't matter. It, the fact is, you've broken in. What do you mean by that? Oh, come on, my friend. You cannot be that stupid. I have you tied to a chair. We're in a slightly dim-lit room, and... We're, it, I, you cannot be this stupid. Okay, okay, look, man, please. You don't have to do this, man. Just, you can, you can turn, you can turn me over to the police, please. <laughs> oh, but that isn't as fun now, is it? You see, I was having a really crappy day. But then you showed up. And man, am I so happy that you did. Listen, man, all right? I'm sorry, okay? I, 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 I won't step foot into your, into your studio, wherever this place is, again, okay? Just please, I don't, please, I have a family, let me go, please. Hmm, let me think. Nah, I, I think you're stuck here with me. Yeah, yeah, you're not leaving tonight, my friend. You know, I built this studio from the ground all crumbling around me. My employees are leaving. In <sighs> Investors are backing out. My entire life's work is going up in flames and I can't handle it. I'm losing everything. Everything. It's, is that the best you've got? Sit down. I said sit down. Boy, you do not know how worse you've made things for yourself. You know, I wanted to savor the moment. No, no, but please, I bet please. It's, I guess it's too late for no, me. No, no, please. Ah! Today I present this story about four best friends. Jack, a man who thinks he can have a career making dumb videos on the internet. Mike, a smart kid who hangs out with morons. Zeke, a man who thinks watching SNL makes you funny. And lastly, there's Henry, who's dead. One of these three friends might have killed Henry, but which one is it? Alright, ready to film OT, guys? Why is this show called OT? Because Jack wanted to call it entertainment tonight, but that was taken, so he called it OT instead. But what does the O stand for? Entertainment with a silent O. Hey, Henry. 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 Oh, um, guys. I think Henry's dead. Ah, a dead person! Why are you, why are you screaming? For dramatic effect. Oh, okay. Did you check his pulse? Can you check his pulse? Of course. Answer a question with another question. I can. Yeah, he's dead. Can you cover up the body? I hate staring at lifeless corpses. Have you seen a dead body before? What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting you're the killer. That's a bad suggestion. Okay, okay, we're not doing this, okay? None of us have a motive to kill Henry, alright? 
In all the murder mystery films, all the suspects have motives. Well, that's not actually true. He took your Netflix password, he ate the rest of your fruit roll-up, and he took $20 from me. That's admission of guilt! It was him! I don't think that's how admission of guilt works, but we clearly all have motives, so I guess we gotta interrogate one another. So where were you the night of the crime? I mean, how do you know it happened at night? I mean, it could have been during broad daylight. You never know. I mean, you know, it's morning outside, you know, this nice sunny morning. I mean, could have been during the day. You never know. Just shut up. You're innocent. So where were you at the possible time of the crime? Well, I don't know when the crime happened. I'm just going to stop you right there before you turn it to me. Now, where were you the night of the crime? I plead the fifth. Well, that's not how this works. I plead the fifth. This is an interrogation, not the court of law. I plead the fifth! So I got annoying. You started acting like me. Zeke pled the fifth. And we're nowhere closer to figuring out who actually did this. Well, I still think it's Zeke. And I still plead the fifth. And I think that maybe none of us did it, and maybe the real killer is still out there. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> All right, put your hands with the mayor! <laughs> now I know that there's a dead body in here, now where is it? How'd you know there was a dead person in here? Now one you need to conf- And why aren't you wearing your uniform? Cause I was on vacation, that's why. And the reason I'm here is cause justice never sleeps. That doesn't even make sense, and that was a cheesy line. Alright, now you all have the right to- Why are you using your fingers to look like you have a gun? Did you leave it in your uniform at home when you went on your vacation at Dunkin' Donuts? Alright, that's it, you're coming with me. So you're arresting me for being annoying? Shut up! Okay. Well, I guess that solves our mystery. <gasps> that was a very anticlimactic way to end a, a murder mystery. You didn't even find out who the killer was. I mean, you call yourselves detectives? You were just blaming each other. I mean, what kind of detective does that? And I mean, letting your best friend get arrested for no reason? That's not what a friend does. I mean, they stick together, they never leave sites, and they just arrest your best friend all because they think he's a murderer? I mean, the murderer could have been any of you. Logically. How are you even alive? I was never dead. There was no blood dripping out of me. There was no weapon on me. I was just tired after a long day, so I fell asleep here in the studio, okay? But thanks for giving me the blanket or sweater, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. At least you gave me something warm to use. But. But Mike didn't even feel a pulse on you, right? Do you think Mike really knows how to read a pulse? Look, I know I met you guys a week ago, but you guys keep changing clothes and spend less time investigating. I mean, seriously, people, what's with you? To quote from famous movies and media, I'm surrounded by idiots. Yeah, we are idiots, but you also changed clothes too for some reason, which I don't even know how you could do that if you were just laying down the whole time, but it doesn't matter. You guys are the worst detectives ever. And another thing, if I were a good friend, I'd go bail my best friend Zeke out of jail and apologize to him for what we, I have done. Yeah, we really should go bail him out now that everyone's innocent. Yeah, yeah. You may think that it was disappointing that no one was actually guilty, but I did say that they might have killed Henry. I never said that one of them did it, so that's kind of your fault for thinking that someone was actually dead with little evidence suggesting that they were dead. Did you leave it in the uniform you left at home when you went on your vacation at Dunkin' Donuts? America runs on Dunkin'. This skit is sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Did you leave it in your uniform at home that you left at home? <laughs> at home. At home. I mean, you call yourselves detectives? I mean, you were just blaming each other. Wait, hold on. No, Dimitri's in the shot. I got Dimitri in this in the shot. Hey, buddy. You want to be in the skit? Not now. This is Brian's time to shine. Look, I know you guys are detectives, but... I you call yourselves detectives? Uh, you should be stripped from the detective agency. Yeah, I even get a good line. So you're arresting me for being annoying? Shut your up!
I'm gonna play all of <laughs> Well, that's not actually true. He took Zeke's last $20, he took my Netflix password, and he took your fruit roll up. Well, you messed up. That's all admission the of guilt. And you messed up it's you. Motives, okay, he took my fruit roll. He took your twenty dollars. He took your Netflix account. You messed up all of our motives. That's it. We should have killed as well. I know it's me, guys. I killed him. Is this war between Russia and Ukraine a new one or a resurfacing one? Let's look at the cold, hard facts and find out where Russia, the United States, Ukraine, and even China stand when it comes to this battle. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning, the founding of the area we now call Ukraine. The year is 1917, and the month is March. During this month, the Russian Empire, which controlled Ukraine, just collapsed on itself. Because of this, the Ukraine leaders got together only eight months later in November and created the Ukrainian People's Republic. Only a month later, they changed the name to the Ukrainian People's Republic of Soviets and proclaimed itself in Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. Numerous military conflicts between Russia and other countries ended with the establishment of the Soviet power and the formation of the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic which occupied most of the territory of today's Ukraine. During World War I in December of 1922, the Ukrainian SSR became one of the bounding states of the Soviet Union. Of course, Russia was the biggest country in the group. What's the takeaway from this? It's the fact that from 1922 all the way up to 1991, Ukraine was in some way part of Russia. Putin looks at Ukraine like an ally, and he wants them to appreciate Russia for what it is. But that isn't reality, and he knows this. But some sources say that Russia didn't mind joining NATO at some point in 1954. But Putin, the current leader, was not the leader in 1954. The leader at the time was Nikita, and I'm going to just butcher his last name, but here it is on screen. He was a leader of the Soviet Union from 1953 to 1964. So why did Nikita offer to join NATO? That was because it would be a quote, promotion of universal peace. But this offer didn't stand with the West because they rejected the offer to join. So how does this have to do with today? A lot of people say that Putin is quote, stuck in the past. So let's jump right to 1992 the exact year that the USSR collapsed. Act 3. If Ukraine is an independent nation, why does Russia have their eyes on them? Russia has its eyes on Ukraine because of a number of different factors, and these reasons are harder to pinpoint than you think. So these are the reasons I found so far. Russia has asked Ukraine to get rid of 12 biolabs because of the potential dangers that these biolabs represent to the Russian people. These biolabs are owned and operated by the United States of America since 2009. You can check the source right here. A lot of people are saying this is misinformation, but I don't know how this is misinformation. A USA Today network investigation found hundreds of accidents have happened at labs nationwide with little or no public disclosure. Reason number three, some people think that Russia is trying to prevent the new world order and that Ukraine is secretly aiding the United States and others in doing this. And number four, others are saying that if the United States really wanted to help the Ukrainian people, then they would have did more already rather than just simply putting sanctions on Russia which we all know do nothing and have never did anything. Even our own government admits that here and here. Let's get something straight. You remember, if you covered me from the very beginning, I did not say that, in fact, the sanctions would deter him. Sanctions never deter. And lastly, Ukraine has lots of natural resources, which Russia can use for its self gain. Thank you all for watching and have a great one. I've been waiting to watch movies all year, I can't wait.
Where did you hear about this movie theater again? I think Jack told me about it. Isn't he in rehab? Shh. That's not important. It doesn't matter. The movie started. Bro, what the hell? What, bro? Bro, why does my room smell so good, dog? Huh? Why does my room smell so good, dog? What? Why does my room smell like sunshine and rainbows? Bro, what's Fresh going on? You, you won't why even does know. My room smell like can't this? even. It can't like even. Yo, I won't even know that it's your room any, anymore. Anymore. Freshy breeze. Where's it coming from? Sergio, what the Hi, my name's Jared McHack, and this is my hack store, where an easier life is just one uh, purchase away. Hairspray, just four for 20. You got some boxes, two for whatever that price says, and some well-working keys here at $55. You ever find yourself needing a nice, sturdy door that can open anything? Your heels are free door for $19.99. What the? Morris, I said if I ever saw you in my store again, I would kick you. Oh my god. What the? What the? Got my giant. Hey. Anyways, you ever need a place to put your coat? Well, buy yourself a very handy hooker. Uh, Mom, can you please tell me what a hooker is exactly? Uh, I think it's time to go. That's my store, Jerry McHack. Come down anytime at your own your that's my store where did jack hear about this place i don't even know shh jack you just want to get out of here yeah what's going on Hey Josie, you see this red light? Yeah. It means I'm recording. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna leave the one in the bathroom now. 1999 to take a pin. Alright, time to play some video games. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Play some video games. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Oh shoot, someone texted me. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. All right. How am I dead? What? How am I dead? How am I dead? What? I, it was two seconds. It was two sec. How am I dead? How? How? A few moments later. Oh, okay. Thank God you clutched out. Yeah, you already know me. Uh, can you get the revive, bro? <laughs> Uh, it's very funny. All right, come on, res me. Res, res me, bro. <laughs> That's not funny, bro. Res me. Res me right now. Res me. Nah, res me. I ain't getting near the res. I'm revive. Not res. Revive, bro. Nah, nah, I'm about to I die. Ain't getting res. Remember revive. when you called me stupid the other day? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember, I remember that. that. <laughs> Put you out now, boy. Put you out now, boy. Yeah. Who is he right now? Nah, nah, I'm not resing you. I'm not resing you. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs>